historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Rams and the Bengals, and it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals taking on the NFC champions, the Los Angeles Rams. The former second round pick, this is Joe Mixon. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. Give everyone credit for this one, because to me, when that happens, key guys are out, the next man steps up and plays well, but that starts with the organization itself, all the way through. No excuses for guys being out. Finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them. And we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. First down. Here's Burrow. Open man is Uzama. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Five yards remain on second down. Here's Burrow. A throw for Boyd, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Ernest Jones. And the Rams are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. So good field position for the Rams as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. After the interception, here's Stafford. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And this one is incomplete. So many times we see teams go on the road and want to lean on their running game, but this crew just announced they're going to try and air it out and make hay downfield. To throw on second and ten. Stafford oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Stafford. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. How many times do we hear that third down may be the most important down in football? And there's no better example than what we just saw right there. Forced to scramble, knows where the first down marker is, dives for it, and gets it. What a big-time play, putting his body on the line to pick up a key first down. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. Similar to a shooter in basketball, just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had to get his first four passing attempts. The rhythm is just not there to begin this ball game. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Here's Stafford. And oh, that really an opening drive INT, but it does fall incomplete. Not the way you wanted to start this ball game as it brings up fourth down. And this may be a big early turning point in this Super Bowl. They're going to go for it on fourth down here. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Again, at Stafford. They'll let it go deep for Beckham. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown, LA! Odell oh, Beckham with a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Rams are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now a 7 0 game. That time, a nine play drive. And the result for the Rams a touchdown. At 
After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. The Bengals drive about to get going. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And the catch made. It's Tyler Boyd. And some space here. Tyler Boyd, 75 yards. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying this Super Bowl at seven. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go. A leap, and he's got it. He got it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Going on top for Cup. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good cover. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. So now Stafford and the Rams after the sack. And they're staring up at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. A big play that time through the air. 32 yards. Well, after the standard two-week layoff, you always wonder how is your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl. Well, they got a great answer right there. And almost a sigh of relief on that side of the field because now they've got to feel like they can use their entire playbook and game plan for this one. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw. It's knocked away and incomplete. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And that will be incomplete. And that'll bring up fourth down as his Cincy defense stands up on third. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. On fourth down, Stafford. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Bengals will get the football back. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That one complete to the former Seminole, Auden Tate. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Well, they obviously read man coverage there, partner. He got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. By that yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. These two teams all tied after. Mixon with a first. He's inside the 40. This offense is locked in right now. They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they get to that end zone real fast. He'll let this go for the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. 
thus far. They have been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one. But they and Burrow going to be hit and taken down. They got him. Jalen Ramsey with a sack on the corner blitz. So that'll leave Burrow and the Bengals with a third and long after that sack we just saw. They'll look to throw. And pressure coming, and they got it once again. Leonard Floyd providing a little deja vu back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. Back deep, Brandon Powell. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. Let's go! L.A. readies for its next possession. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to them. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. The 20. And finally, he is out of bounds, but not before taking it down near the 15. A big play there on the catch and run. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. From the red zone now, Stafford. A quick pass to cut. And the Rams are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Back to throw, Stafford. Being chased out left. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. But there was pressure all around him, so the only play was to try and get out of there. I think it was an excellent effort by him just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Second down and goal. Stafford, and he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sack back at the five-yard line. The Clemson product, D.J. Reader, got in for the sack. Third and goal, a big play in this Super Bowl. Now it's Stafford. And he's got it. That's cut for a win. Touchdown. The five-yard touchdown catch. And the Rams have taken the lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. So the call is made by Sean McVay. They're going to go for two. Stafford's going to try and throw for it. And they're going to get the two-point conversion. This one's caught. And it stretches their lead up to eight. And, of course, on the two-point try, had the option to run or pass. They pass it there, and it works. So pretty straightforward, didn't it? Open receiver, ball's put on, and two points for them. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Joe Burrow and the Bengals set to go back on offense. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to right the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for his team, maybe get him back into the ball game or into the lead. In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, let's go. Try and create that energy, create that spark. So far, he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking for that second touchdown now. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. On third down, Mixon. And he's not going to get anywhere close to the marker as he'll stop him well short of the yellow line. It's a gain of just three, and the offense likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down. Here's Kevin Huber now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. 
And they had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion in the field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. Throwing again on second and ten. Stafford going up top for Cup, And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Stafford now to throw. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big connection on that one. 33 yards. I'm seeing a lot of hands on hips in that secondary, and I suspect a lot of mumbling under their breath as well because this defense has had no answer for the passing game here in the first half. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lane. And he's got it. That's cut for a Ram touchdown. Make that now three first-half touchdown passes for Matthew Stafford. And the Rams continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. Now Stafford will come up trying to get his guys a two-point conversion. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. So they try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational. You have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. Well, the Bengal offense going to see the ball one more time in this first half. And we'll see how they want to play this. Just a little over 20 seconds to go. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. And he'll spot Higgins open left side. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Boyd's the target, and he has it over the middle. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Maybe a frustration penalty there, because he's picked them apart. They've tried their best to get to him and haven't done it successfully. A penalty as a result of that hit there. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Out of his hands quickly to Higgins. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Now it's Burrow. Airing one out for Boyd. And that is caught. But he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. McPherson's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So, these, so the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And I would imagine this is where you have to take stock of the situation, CD, and say, gosh, we're halfway to the Lombardi Trophy. Let's not slow down now. And I like the way you went there. Let's not slow down now because the first half certainly went their way. And I would expect them to continue with that type of a game plan. But you're right. You do think back to Super Bowl 54, 49. And that is caught one-handed. Oh, my. 42. That answers the question of whether they're going to try to play conservative and protect this lead in the third quarter. And I think this is something we're seeing more and more of in the NFL. 
Teams not playing to protect leads. Teams playing to extend them. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A big play that time through the air. 35 yards. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the 5. Touchdown, Rams. Fourth touchdown pass of the game for Matthew Stafford. And the Rams will extend their third quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch on your set. We always talk about, you know, getting to the next level, right? When we see people get into the zone, this guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on, just carving them up. Four touchdown passes, carving them up is right. Seems like everything he throws is going to be a completion and going in the end zone. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get an intercept and it's returned by the defense, that's two points for them. But he identified an open target and put it right on him. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? On third down, Burrow. He's going to loft this one deep left sideline. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here's Kevin Huber now as he's on to punt for Cincinnati. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Rams will go on offense here with a first and 10. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. On first down at Stafford. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And got his man complete. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A big connection on that one. 32 yards. On first and 10, Stafford going up top for Cup. Got a man that's caught at the six-yard line. A big play that time through the air. 34 yards. But make that now two completions for him on this drive. And these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way. Oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover it. That type of indecision can open up even more big plays. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. All right, Captain. He's batting down the hatch his time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now, what do you think we're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Matthew Stafford, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Rams are starting to pour it on to the game's biggest stage. They are running away with this Super Bowl. So the call is made by Sean McVay. They're going to go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. I guess when you're hot, you're hot. I mean... I would just go ahead and take the extra point and move on, but apparently they've got something to prove. Almost feels like something was said this week, and they wanted to make sure that they laid it on them in this game. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Cincinnati set to take over once again. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is 
just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being caught. And the Rams got it. They bring it down. Sean Robinson, too much to handle that time, gets the sack. So that'll leave Burrow and the Bengals with a third and long after that sack we just saw. Looking to throw. This goes out wide for Mixon. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They do get 18, but even that won't be quite enough. It's fourth down. Here's Kevin Huber now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. On the return is Powell. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Here's Stafford. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Third quarter of the biggest spectacle in sport, the Super Bowl. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Second and ten. Stafford throw here, hauled in by Cup. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. And if anyone thinks they're just going to tuck their hands in and pull back off the throttle a little bit, you can forget it. Even with this big third quarter lead, I think this team's going to continue to take their shots downfield. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. A big connection on that one. 33 yards. What a game it's been for this duo. They remind me of a good comedy team. They know how to play off of each other so well. No matter how one riffs, the other's right there to pick them up, and they are shredding them in this ballgame. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Second and 10 here in the third quarter of Super Bowl 56. Stafford looks to throw again. Going up top for Cup. And this is taken in at the five. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A big play that time through the air. 36 yards. Stafford. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Matthew Stafford, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Rams are starting to open things up here in this Super Bowl. Now Stafford will come up, try to get his guys a two-point conversion. Now Stafford. And he's got it. They add on more. A little salt in the wound. Two-point conversion makes this lead even bigger. <laughs> I think this is just going to be a function of the times we live in now. Very similar to the bat flip in baseball. Everyone's got to start to get comfortable with this. But to me, this is just rubbing it in. You got a big lead. Go ahead and take the extra point. One thing to keep in mind, though, karma's still out there. And sometimes it has a way of catching up with you. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. The Bengals drive about to get going. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at that time, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now Burrow on first down. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. To throw. Get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. 
And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. McPherson's kick is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin. A Super Bowl title within reach now as they try to polish this thing off. To throw once more on second and 10, Stafford. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So a costly penalty yardage-wise is that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball. And if you're playing the man, you get a oh, leap and he will make the catch. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A big connection on that one. 35 yards. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well oiled machine throughout. And I actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter doing the old hold up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is out. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Bengals are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20 yard line. Burrow and the Bengals were they first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Well, this game was certainly pretty well over. They go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Now it's Burrow. And this is incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense they are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Room here to run! And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play there on the catch and run. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Again, it's Burrow. He finds his running back, Mixon. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it's a second down. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to need a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Oh, yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. This is caught. It's Boyd. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. to Mixon on the check down. Touchdown! Joe Mixon, a seven yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. 
Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead drops from 34 down to 27. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And not a good return here at all as he'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. The outcome of this one, well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's, what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, broadcaster? Well, I'm not going to go to the player part because when I think blowout... Because you won about, every game as a player. No, no, no. I think about being blown out. <laughs> and no one wants to go back to those memories. But, you know, when I was calling college football, I saw a game that... You know, team put 70. I actually saw it happen twice. A team put 70 on their opponent. And in the NFL in the 2017 season, I saw one of those changing of the guard games where a team that hadn't been very good before now was dominating and kicking around a team who had been ruling their division. And that's when you earn your paycheck, right? As the, as the analyst, you got to fill that time. You've got to know what's going on out there and how it all happened. Well, obviously, that begs the question, what game was it? That was Seattle hosting Los Angeles, the Rams. Uh, yeah. Their second meeting of the season, and the Rams turned it around from the first one and blew out the Seahawks. Throwing here, Stafford. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. And he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing again at Stafford. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it to the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there. But they decided to play this one all the way out, and I think their philosophy is we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. Personally, I'd rather see them kick the extra point there than to go for two, but it almost feels like there's a story within the story here. I mean, this isn't college. You know, size of victory, that matters in those games. Here, all you have to do is win by one point. That's all that you need. Instead, they go for it, get two. You got some pretty ticked off folks on the other sideline now. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Bengals drive about to get going. And their Super Bowl hopes are dwindling here in the fourth. That AFC crown from two weeks ago is starting to seem like a distant memory. And this one just has not gone as they had hoped. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. On second and 10, Burrow over the middle. That's caught by Chase. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 21. That's caught by his tight end, Uzuma. He's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. Now Burrow. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Line of scrimmage again, the four yard line. Second and goal. A final shot now for Burrow. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. That is today's NFL, isn't it? If you're going to be a running back in this league, you've got to be complete to stay on the field, at least for those three downs we talk about. You've got to be able to catch it, which he's doing quite well in this one. Two touchdowns already. Yeah, a little unconventional. He hasn't been able to cross the goal line as a runner, but as you say, twice as a receiver. So after the main... This fielded right at the goal line. The Rams have won the Super Bowl, and they will get the Lombardi Trophy.
and their remarkable season in the collective happiness makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my